Okay, let's jam. I'm Round the Wheel, and you are watching Lemmings Plus. This is a new version of Lemmings Plus. It's been updated to let me be able to get through certain levels. Uh, certain levels were not possible in the version I downloaded previously because of glitches that would have not made them possible. So I have this new one that has the, the one Roman numeral over there on the right. And we're going to enter our code for our new level, which should be meaty level 3. We had just gotten to the meaty levels the last time we left off on this game. So let's hit that, and let's enter our code. It's, I have a, I have tons of codes here. I think this is the one, though. Yes! Meaty level 3. That starts us off right smack dab in the middle. Not too easy, not too hard. So let's get back into the swing of things here. The box! This looks vaguely familiar. I like the TIE Fighters out to... No, those are more like TIE Interceptors, aren't they? <laughs> yes, yes, there is some Star Wars nerd in him still, yes. 50 lemmings, 80% to be saved, and it looks like we're going to be going through the roof over the top because that steel is not going to let us do anything. This looks vaguely familiar. I don't think this is a remake. It kind of reminds me of the level where they didn't give you any bashers. Uh, eight minutes to accomplish our task here today. Let's see. What's the best way up to the top? Uh, should we just go... What's the best angle here? Let's go ahead and, uh... Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, that's right. Spacebar is the skip ten seconds ahead one. That's right. Okay, so... We probably don't want to skip ten seconds ahead. We just want to kind of speed things up montage style. And... Yeah, let's go ahead and chop through that so that... We got a guy still building, but and uh, I think it's been changed how I choose a walker also. Yeah, I have to hold the control key to choose a walker now. I don't know if left and right still work. Uh, I imagine they may, but uh, I, f I forget totally what... Because now that there's been an update, I now have uh, better means of... No, what am I trying to say? Shoot, golly, yes, God, this is why I hate coming back to these things after so long without doing them. I'm out of that rhythm, and I'm just not, just not into it, not grokking it. But let's go ahead and get up to, okay, yeah, the right click for the release rate still works. That's a, well, I didn't really need to do it at that point. Okay, but we're getting up there, we're getting, we're getting in good, and after I, let's see, I'm going to try to get up really high and tight here. Uh, I have plenty of builders to do so. Well, maybe I don't. Because, hmm, because I have to get over that wall, and then I have to give everybody a way in. So I can't really use, uh, I can use a fair amount of builders, actually. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, as soon as he hits this top step here, let's kind of, let's kind of give ourselves, give ourselves a little launch pad here give ourselves ways to walk up and in. This is going to be really... For such a sparsely detailed level, this is going to be a little bit tough to achieve, but I'm going to continue using a single guy here. Okay, yeah, I want to get up so that eventually I'm just a bitty bit of a pixel over. Yeah, it's going to take some doing for sure. Okay. But I think I'm just about there with it. I think what I can do now is build one more bridge right here. Okay, yes, and then I'll need to get up on that pixel, up on that very toppermost step there, in order to... Yes! In order to bash so that he goes all the way across without making a hole here in the seams. And yes, the cursor should be showing up. So, yeah, so now I'm highlighting all this goody-goody gumdrop type stuff. Let's make him a floater. He's going to have to save his comrades, so yeah, let's go ahead then, and alright, how are we gonna, how are we gonna believe and achieve? We're gonna go ahead and we're going to, yeah, we gotta make it pretty angular, so, gotta be careful with that F key is what we gotta do, but I think I'm gonna have enough builders to make this, oh yeah, that guy will stretch out to the wall for sure. And then, then we just got to build a bridge high enough, probably from like here, I would say, to let them in. Of course, we have to patch it up as well, so we do have to leave one left over. And I'll probably go ahead and just build all the way to the wall. 
That sounds like a plan, Stan, does it not? Okay, so... How are we doing? How are we doing for time's sake? I think we're doing pretty solid here. I don't think we're spending too much time being boring old accountants. Alright, so now, yes, definitely put a hole there. And let's, let's do right at the juncture there. Let's dig right at the junction there, so that everybody... Oh, yes, safety is insured, so... Good for us. Yeah, that wasn't... No, oh, that was... I can see some people considering that a tedious level, but I actually enjoyed... The, the act of building up just enough, just high and tight enough... To be able to bash through that top wall. That's how you get out of the box. You gotta think outside the box, and to get outside the box... Usually, the outside of the box is at the top, so you just punch through the top... You know, bride style. Level four. Let's go to it. Getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. We are surely getting there to the to the good stuff. I think there's actually some bonus stuff. Speaking of getting there, that wasn't covered by the rating system last time. I mean, there's some rating now called pre V seven, pre version seven. Maybe contains some like easily back routable bonus levels or stuff that didn't make the cut. I don't know. I don't know. I, what what version is this? I think this might be version nine or eight. Of Lemmings Plus One? I'm not sure. I'm sure Namita can tell you. He's the guy in the comments with all the Korean symbols in his name. 50 Lemmings. Only got to save 60%. And we only have three minutes to do it. Ah, yes. Time is indeed getting the better of us. Here we go. So, we've got... Oh, we've got no miners. That's a... That's quite a ruckus. I thought we would be going downstairs this way. We only have one digger. And, okay, so one digger and one basher. Um, and two builders. How are we gonna... Oh, hey, so now we are actually solving a puzzle here. Hooray! This is fun. Okay, so we got three climbers. We got three climbers. And... Okay, okay, yes. Now now some meat to chew on. This is, this is bad that a level like this has popped up this early, because now... Because now I don't even. Okay, um... Buh, 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 Let's think. Before we send anybody out of the hatch. We got... Oh, I see, I see. We have blockers and bombers, so we're going to be... Okay. Well, really, we can... Okay, this shouldn't take a whole lot of finesse, actually. Uh, I should be able to just have him climb, and because of the fact that there's no timer... Boom! Uh, oh... Uh, maybe, maybe a little more than, than that. Let's push R for a repeat. Okay, so everything is resetted, or it should be anyhow. So, when he's about halfway up the wall, I think. Let's see. Oh, wow, no, that's way too big a hole, so... Okay, yeah, let's go... Okay, yeah, so now we got that happening. Oh, that replay is tricky stuff. Uh, how far up the wall, then? Ah, that might look good. Oh, yeah, that looks real good. Okay, so now okay, so now we have a general idea of what we got to do. Okay, yeah, we want to pop at... Okay, so I see why the builders are here, then. The builders are here to provide a little bit of leeway, I think. I don't even think that builder will technically probably get us to the top, so... That was... that was a big old mess. Yeah, that was dumb. Okay, so... okay. Now we can allow the guy to go forward with his plan. Okay, yeah, so now... Okay, so now let's make another climber, and we gotta try to bomb him in more or less the same spot. Kind of before he actually... Yeah, kind of when he's hopping up to the wall there. Okay, yeah, there's definitely a good time for it. So, okay, so... During the hopping animation, that's when you really want to nail it there. And then, one wall to get to the top. One bridge to save them all. I hope that's the bridge that saves them all. Maybe it will take two, uh, just to get over it. Nope, you can get to it in one. I don't know why... Yeah, I forgot how big and chunky the pixels are in this, uh, version. That, that makes precision a lot easier. Because I'm recording in full screen, just by mere dint of that fact. That's a good thing, so... Let's go ahead and get them all. Let's speed it up a little faster and move on. Okay, all right, we're doing pretty okay, I think. I think we're moving. Af I think we're moving forward in more or less the fashion I would expect, but uh, we're not exactly we're not exactly cruising through levels anymore. Not just 
Oh, safety blast. Ooh, safety man. 80 lemmings got to save 25%, and we have 8 minutes to... Okay, so it's going to take a lot of bombing, but fortunately we don't have that timer or anything. We got a release rate of 1. That's also good. So we can afford to be careful on this one. I don't think this is going to be a very hard level. No, it surely indeed will not. Oh yeah, this would be... Oh, this would be a hellacious level in any other version of lemmings, but... Here, I think... I think if we start from, like, the middle of the wall... Oh, yeah, this will go... This will go perfectly. You just want to do, like, a little downward... Oh, yeah, this is simple. Oh, yeah, because of the fact that there is no timer involved... Oh, yeah, if I had to actually sort this out... This is the kind of thing Dodo Chikalo would do if he... If he made a level like this. You would have to... You would have to plan out the timing very precisely. But here... Because we have no bomber detonation timer, no 54321, it's going to be a pretty simple drop to the ground there. In fact, we can kind of make it. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that nice little phallic curve I've got going. Mmm. That's a nice little curve you got going there. Mmm. Okay, so maybe I should actually start. Yeah, maybe I should actually start going inside the very top of the curves here. So we, we should start. We should start pulling up. All right, yeah, we, we should definitely start coming in for a smoother landing. Okay, as soon as I have a minute here, I will uh, raise the release rate to 99. That should be the last one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow, yeah, a little bit of a hang-up there. Let's hang up our hang-ups. Oh, wow, this is having a real hard time with this. <laughs> Must just be the big block in the game's face, I'm not sure. It's not letting me move over, either. Oh, wow, it's not letting me move over into, like, blank space, either. That's... The minimap wouldn't let me do that, I was noticing. That that must be new as well, where you can only look within the... Within the boundary of the actual level itself, the black stuff, I suppose, is not just, not just fun abyss to look at anymore. Oh, and I even saved more than triple our requirement. That's good to... That's always a good feeling. Let's go ahead, then. Let's go ahead and, uh... Nami is awesome. Yes, I remember him pimping himself like that. Fallen. Fallen is the name of this level, which is weird, because we're not fallen, we're rising in order to get to the exit. We're rising, like, you know, um, like, fucking, I always hate people who use the word fucking, like, like, it's like, um, you know, that, that, that little place, feel, you know, you can fill the place with something better than that. 30 lemmings, 100% to be saved. Let's do a time limit of 5. We don't get to choose that time limit. Let's, oh, and no builders either. Ah, that's always fun. That's always very interesting when a level does not contain builders. Somebody was telling me that, like, builders are super essential to the way Lemmings works. And, like, buildings are by far the most used. Somebody did a breakdown of everything you need to beat, like, the original Lemmings. And by far, builders were the most used task there. Yeah, I can't go outside the level boundary if you're following the minimap with me there. But yeah, like, builders were used, like, nine times more than even the second place thing that was used. Okay, so it looks pretty stable. Uh, a 20 release rate? Okay, so... Alright, so we should be able to hem ourselves in pretty well. Well, no. How are we going to hem ourselves in here? Uh... We have to save 100% of everybody. That's the thing. Um, okay, how, how am I going to achieve this? How am I going to get everybody not turned around? Because I could theoretically use the blockers, but then I would have to mine or bash under them or something. And no builders. So we're definitely going to be mining out to reach the end here. Let me make sure of that. Yes, 100% of the lemmings have to be saved. Okay, so... Alright, uh... <laughs> Alright, so now that I know 100% have to be saved... Okay, it's the digging and the bashing. We may have to work together somehow. We may have to work together to just get everybody up. To just get on up, like a sex machine. And so, oh, so if I make a guy down here, if I make a blocker right here, he should be fairly easy to free? What the heck was that? 
That was some weirdo noise. I don't even know what that is. Maybe I should close the door when I record. It could have been a car like skidding really hard outside, or it could have been some noise from the kitchen. I don't know. That was bizarre. Anyway, okay, I think I, I think I kind of get it. I think crab crab maga. Um, <laughs> no, maybe not. Uh, oh goodness, give me a minute to sit here and sort this out. Okay, if I get the release rate high enough, I might be able to make a pretty rudimentary trap here. I think we want to put that release rate... I'm kind of experimenting with it. Maybe 60 is a good release rate. I'm going to skip over 50. I've been going up by increments of 10. And I'm not really like... Uh... Okay, I want to get deep enough that... Huh. I want to get deep enough for somebody to, like, dig a hole? Huh. Okay, yeah, I want to get deep enough for somebody to bash, and I want to go up a lot higher than I'm going. Maybe 75 is good. Okay, so we want... What we want to happen here... Okay, we want to get a walker in the hole. We want him to bash. Let, yeah, let's have the walker bash. And then let's have the... I want it low enough so that it creates, like, a series of steps. So, like... The digger digs deep enough so that they don't go out on the left, but then he doesn't keep going on the right. Oh, gosh, it's very, very hard to pull off that way. Um, but let's see if it can be done. I would like to see if it can be done. Um, hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, you know what? I think I'll just have him bash, and then I'll have another guy dig a hole really close in. No, that's not what I want, though. That's not. I don't want him to keep going, though. And ha, uh, that's that's the tricky part is him keeping going. Uh, maybe I should do two separate. Maybe I should do two separate guys. Hold on, before we raise anything up here. Yeah, I think I should do two separate diggers. I'm going to go ahead and uh, all right, he's gonna dig, and I think his friend is going to walk out of the hole here, so, and then he's going to dig, and he's going to dig low enough so that he stops, okay, they both stopped, now let's see if that's enough to, okay, yeah, let's see if that's enough to keep him, okay, that's enough to keep them all hemmed in, okay, I finally, finally got that accomplished, at least, um, Let's see now, how to do the next part. The next part is also going to be tricky. Nah, not so much. I think I'm just going to send a guy over. Um, yeah, I still have a miner and a basher, so this is now doable. Okay, so, let's do it. Let's make this guy a blocker. Now it's all about mining from the right spots as I turn backwards. So now... We want to come from, like, probably right here or so. Let's speed up our process here. Okay, yeah, very good, very good. So then, yeah, from, like, this is a good landmark right here. That gets everybody out of the hatch. So now, only thing I want to do... Ah, crap, but now the climber is going to climb over the thing. Um... Okay, so maybe he should have, like, found a way to turn around. This is very complicated. Okay, so he's coming in backwards. If he goes out and he's dead, that keeps me from saving 100%. Oh my goodness. Uh, and I don't really see any novel way to... I like the thing I had at the beginning here with this. I like that. But I don't really see... Okay, so turning climbers around. Uh, now I'm going to have to find a self-help book for that. Uh, because I can get them out just fine. Yeah, he's gonna go off the edge, though. That's the only problem with him. So if I come back here, though... Yeah, see? And then with the miner, you just bash. Yeah, and all those guys get it. But the one problem is getting that climber turn. Uh, that doesn't really work out so hot, does it? That does not work out so hot. No, indeed. No, it does not. Well, we got close. Got close. I'm getting there. 
I'm getting there. I don't know why this one is so... Hmm. I don't know why this one is so... Hmm. Yes, this is a very hmm kind of level, is it not? Alright, this involves some really exact precisitude, and I'm not even sure it's the intended way to do it, but I have finally managed to save everybody. So, so far we've got this basher going, and when he is like halfway through a bash, we're gonna make him block, and this sets two guys out here. I also raised the release rate to 40 so that I could get two just plain old guys up here. Now we're gonna do this like we would any other time when we had just a simple solution to be able to do. We're going to go ahead and have him block, or have the climber block, and then we're going to mine down as usual. Now, it's a good thing that we are able to get the kind of preciseness that we need, because otherwise this would just be a train wreck and a half to have to do. But I think, yeah, this is, this is pretty bizarre. This is a pretty tough one to chew on. But now where you've got it going so that these guys go up and the climber is blocked by the blocker. Now it's important that the climber releases the other climber blocker so that when these guys release this guy, the climber doesn't end off end up going off into the abyss. So now the two climbers are out. So now we have to dig, mine, and then when we are underneath him, bash so that he releases the blocker. And everybody is saved. That should be... 100% right there. I don't know if that's the intended way to do it, but if it is, holy crap, did that take some fine-tuned solving to figure out. Holy crap, we did it. 100%. I actually had a pretty tough time with that level. I There may be an easier way to do it than that, but Lord knows I did not discover it if that was the case. I may have just put my brain through something that it didn't have to even really go through. But yes, I'm definitely writing down that password so that I never have to look at Fallen ever again. I'd almost rather take a no salvation at this point than that, but holy moly, yikes, yikes, yikes. Man, that was a tough one to chew on for the end of the day, at least in my humble opinion. But next time we will move on and uh, do level 7. I expected to get through more levels today, but we are kind of getting to that point now, I think where uh, the game is taking off the kid gloves, not playing nice no more. So I will see you guys next time for more... Uh, ba 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 Lemmings Plus, yes, that's the name of the game that was right on the tip of my brain tongue.